Hello fellow photographers, Dan from On One here. I'm back with another sneak peek of something we're working on for PhotoRaw 2025.1. That's a free update if you already own PhotoRaw 2025. And it's another improvement to the Generative Eraser tool. The Generative Eraser is new in PhotoRaw 2025, and it really empowers you to remove the most difficult things from your photos, the biggest distractions. In this case, I've got a bride and a groom, and I've got all these people in the background, and I want to remove them. Well we've added a new model that we think does a great job for doing this. Under the gear menu, when I click on that, you'll see there's a model option. You have the local generative AI model option. That's the one that 2025 came with out the door. And that works on your built-in GPU on your computer. And there's also the stability AI option, which uses a web connection and credits to give you the highest quality re results from stability.ai. But we've also added a brand new local non-generative AI model. This will work on lower end systems that don't have as strong a GPU, and it still gives you almost the exact same results as the local generative AI model, but will probably be faster for you. Let me show you. I'm just going to use this option. I'm going to paint out all these distracting people in the background. Over here. And I got a bunch over here. I'm not being super careful because the beauty of this is that it's going to automatically fix any of those little rough edges that I made. Oh, there's a guy over here too. So I'm erasing a lot of this scene and I'm just gonna hit the generate button. And bam, there you go. I was able to erase all those people in the background and maintain the correct detail, the correct depth of field, the correct noise, so that it looks realistic in my photo. I can still use the retry button to have it generate different results if I don't like those results. And I can even switch to a different model and use the retry option again. So for example, if I clicked on the gear and I went to the local AI model, I could try again and I'll get different results. Oh, so you can see there it added in a little bit more of the yard and a little bit more lights. Maybe I don't like that. I can just undo and go back to the previous results, which I think look better. All right. There you go. That's the new non-generative AI option in the generative eraser tool. Thanks for watching.